Yeah, are these MK3s or... Yeah, they're MK3s. So, yeah, let's upgrade them. If they were MK4s, I'd be like, meh. It's fast enough. Okay, I think that's it. Now we just need to do the outputs and then we're done. Yeah, these are all MK3s. Okay, almost done and okay I think we're done now so this is now mk5s really fast stuff wait I think I see a red light there okay what's going on here nope no power what so this wasn't producing this entire time Oh my god. Alright, so you know what? Let's just let's just upgrade this. Whatever. We're already here. I mean, these are MK3s anyway, so we should be upgrading them. And that should be good. And then if we need to overclock this later, we can do that fairly easily. Perhaps more of these nuts. Okay. It's time to upgrade these as well. I think these are MK4s. Yeah, they're MK4s. Let's get some berries over here since we're here. Let's go and get this. Let's also get rid of this steel. These encased industrial beams, try to save as many of them as possible. I probably don't need to upgrade these. These are MK4s, but... Well... Might as well. Let's try to burn all of these aluminum sheets. Now, I definitely know some of these are MK3s. Because I do remember running out of MK4s, or running out of encased industrial beams. So I do need to upgrade all of this. Like, everything that needs to be upgraded will upgrade. Just upgrade these lifts first. And then we'll upgrade all of the conveyors. Can we even...
Okay, so never mind. Can't do anything about that, but we'll do something about this. We'll just go from right to left, upgrading everything that needs to be upgraded. This needs to be upgraded. Oh, these conveyors at the bottom. Oh, it's only this last section over here that needs upgrading. But it looks like we are done here. Then over here are MK4s, so whatever, let's just not deal with it. And then all of these are MK5s, so I think we're done. Get rid of this coal. And let's just go. Just need some of these nuts. I'm just going to use these nuts until I can rebuild my stockpile of berries. But all of this is now fully upgraded. We now have quartz crystals going into our factory. That's what we're going to do next. I'm going to use them to build those radio control units. Yeah, so... Well, we do need to build the crystal oscillators first, and we also need to add more production for aluminum casing. But that's a simple recipe. We can take care of that. This needs manufacturers, so looks like we're going to have to bring the reinforced iron plates up to the fifth floor. Speaking of which, we do need to bring more screws up there. Or wait, yeah, we do need to go from the first floor to the second floor and that'll give us additional screws for that production there. And then I need to replace the uh, splitters going from the screw production to the storage container there that goes up to the fourth floor. We're going to replace those splitters with smart splitters. That way it don't, it's only using the overflow from the production there and not just splitting it evenly because we do need those screws for our reinforced iron plates. On that note, I probably should try to acquire more hard drives, try to get more recipes going. I guess we should deal with this first. Still got a lot of aluminum sheets here. So for the time being, what I'm going to do... Let's just go to the hub. I need to get rid of this power slug. This here. Now we got these radar technology. What does radar technology do? And do we have enough oscillators? Oh, yes, we do. So, radio signal scanning. What does that do? I feel like I'm missing here something here. So, Let's get some more beacons. Let's make beacons until we got like 18 of them. I 
I don't know what the radar does. I'll probably figure this out eventually. Okay, so where is it? It's not in transportation. Organization. Logistics. Why would it be here? Production. Special? Like it's a new building. Where would it be? Oh, here it is. Radio tower reveals an area around itself on the map. The area is gradually revealed over time up to a maximum. Placing the tower higher up increases the maximum area revealed. You know what? This can actually be useful. Like plant some radio towers. Like all over the place. We'll put them here. Around here. Around here. Like put them where we haven't explored yet but we have power lines that way we can like reveal the area but we need crystal oscillators automated before we can do that so okay i got you game now what i want to do is bring these screws we have the production here for screws and actually we need to turn these into MK5 since we're going to use them now. I think these are like MK2s or MK1s. So we're gonna need this. Like that. Wait, I, pr I probably should check to see what these are. Yeah, these are still MK1s. So, okay. Let's do that. Try to upgrade these. Okay, these are now MK5s. Now, how is that for an upgrade? Going from MK1 directly into MK5. I'll just upgrade these two, because why not? Yeah, let's just upgrade all of the conveyor belts here. And try to reuse some of its production for something else. I mean, eventually. Same thing with that area over there. Right now, it's just making reinforced iron plates that are just going into the awesome shop. Probably should bring them up. Oh, well, anyway, this is done. And we need to bring this up over here. Somehow get it upwards. So we're going to have to go to the second floor and just make a hole. Going to make the hole somewhere over here. I mean, it seems like this would be a good place for it, right? And where is it? And actually, let's drop down. Took no damage, great. So there's our screw production, let's... Build the foundations here. And then we're gonna put some walls here. Okay, there's the output. You know, let's make the... 
conveyor pulls like maybe right here somewhere somewhere yeah let's put them right over here two three or three come on three four five six seven eight is it seven or eight I don't know yeah it's definitely eight just connect you like so. So connects to four. It looks like. Or five. It looks like five. No, actually, it was four. So, never mind. It actually was four. One, two, three, four. And there we go. We're gonna get screws up there. While we're at it, maybe we can get something else in here as well. Okay, but maybe we'll save it for another time. But for the time being, you know what? Let's put a ramp here. Make it easier to actually climb up here. Theoretically. Oh, it's a little bit easier. It's not as smooth as I would have wanted, but it works. It's easier. So let's just do that. Okay, so here's the wall. Let's bring this up this way. And here we go. So here's what I wanted to do. We're going to bring these screws. Going to replace this with a smart splitter. Okay, so these are MK3s. I need to upgrade this entire section now. But first, let's put the smart splitter right here. Or wait, we put this on the ground first, right? Okay, center output, and then it's, yeah, it's left output is overflow. So, these screws will be prioritized for reinforced iron plate production, and then any excess will go into this container here. And then, we'll put a merger, like, right here. Going this way. And there we go, lots of screws. So the screw production on the first floor 
is now producing screws for the fourth floor and above. In the meantime, we should also upgrade these. go. Now I also need to upgrade this. Now we get rid of this. Actually we don't need to get rid of that. What am I doing? Okay that is still connected. We need to get rid of these splitters. Put a smart splitter this way. And then we go left. This will be for overflow. And over here, get rid of splitter here. And replace it with a smart splitter. Oh, come on. Really? Smart splitter to put on top here. Oh, that's why. Okay, wrong direction. Fix that up. And then orient myself like this. And it is now right. Set this to overflow so any additional screws will just get sent over here. these into MK5s. I sh should probably do the same thing with the conveyor belts over there. Though I'm not exactly sure where the bottleneck is. Oh, I should do the same thing with these lifts here. Like, I only replaced some of these lifts. Didn't replace them all at the same time. Okay, all of these should now be MK5s. So this section of the production should now be MK5s. Let's now replace all of this. Now this does take quite a while to finish. That's why I waited until MK5s to like do this. I think I upgraded some of these a little bit, but I just wait until MK5s. Just so I only have to do this once. Because this is a lot of conveyor belts we do need to upgrade. 
But once we upgrade him, that's it. And screws are like the most complex things we need to build. I mean, there's a lot more complicated things than screws, but I mean, just the sheer amount of conveyors. I mean, look at this. Like, that's the complexity in and of itself. But as long as we get enough of this going, it'd be great. But then there's also other recipes we can use. But you don't just, like, scrap this entire thing and just make a more efficient, like, production for screws. You keep your existing production. And then you just build new ones with better recipes. I'm not exactly sure why I need to upgrade these, but I'm upgrading them anyway. It's not like it will go any faster. But hey, you never know. I have a feeling I'm also missing some of these conveyors. Okay, that looks good. That's the conveyors over here. That we just need to build. Like, I don't feel like upgrading the belts, the screw production all the way over there. Since that's just purely for rotors. Well, I guess I can double check to make sure everything's going smoothly. 